Hello there, Cancer, and welcome into Sage Sunset Healing Tarot. Thank you so much for being here, and I do hope you are well. It is a beautiful day outside today. Be open to receiving beautiful things, and I am here with messages for you wanting to take another look at your person's energy, whether this is your past person or future person. We will see okay the energy is um, most people wanting to find out most concerns wanting to find out more about this past person's energy because it was indeed a powerful union between two souls i feel that were destined to be together to meet and so if you are one that is having difficulty releasing a very intense past connection possibly having to do uh, possibly is a romantic connection some of you it's family and friends okay but it, it was destined to happen so welcome in the meeting that you you both you two meeting was destined to happen that's how i feel that's how i feel both of you had uh, similar goals a similar vision and that's what aligned you on um, the path that you were on when you met Okay, so welcome in Cancer and breathe in with me. Remember that these are general tarot card readings. So all of the messages may not apply to all of you. So you have to take what applies to you and the rest let it fly. Welcome in your energy and let us get started. Thank you for being here, by the way. And um, thank you for all your likes, shares, comments subscribes for all the donations that you offer to this channel all of your support is greatly appreciated let's start with your current energy the first word that came to me was scale and balance unity reunitement flashiness making quick decisions, going after your dreams, chasing what you want, fire sign, maybe moving on or moving toward you, someone going back. But this person is, or this energy is one that dips in and out. This person returns, possibly returns home to for a refreshing meal and then they have to be off on the road again. That's this, this energy of the Knight of Wands, always traveling, moving quickly always possibly working or just moving with earnest some desire this feels like someone is has an intention to come toward you this person is aries leo sagittarius hot fire sign this person is also very spiritual in nature okay I feel nobility as well. They, they, uh, they have a very prosperous and loving and true heart. And their intention is to feel as if they're prospering, to feel growth and to feel that blossoming of love. All right, so this person, what they're chasing after is is something having to do with the love, the heart space, well-being. Hmm. All right. <laughs> so I feel somebody is is going back to a past connection. Maybe someone that cut them off to to prove something. We have Swords energy now. Swords is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like this is the person that got cut off. Because this person I, did them wrong or played unfairly. I know. It could be you. You're returning to... Because uh, like you went off to practice or to gather some skill. Now you're coming back. To challenge this person but it's a different kind of a challenge it's not it's different because you I feel like you know who you are 
You're not fighting with swords anymore. You're fighting with fire. Hmm. So some, it, uh, you know, someone beats you with air energy. And that's because you didn't know air energy, you know. You had to go find your fire energy. You're a firefighter. That's the energy. So maybe you, you weren't in your power at that time. And now you, you return. Oh my God, the sun. I like that. All right, some of you are moving on, moving away from. You know what ended the thing that you had to walk away from? It could be someone that it's that energy of someone um, leaving you out in the cold, leaving you stranded or banishing you and you had to leave. But it was for your own good because it, you came through as the sun. Because I feel like you went to find your fire energy, your real fire power. This, this, whatever you were released from was good for you. Very good for you. You're coming into prosperity and success so you're on this journey now that's how i feel you it's, it's something that you're passionate about it could be work you could be working traveling you could be in the process of starting your own business here you know an opportunity that you're taking hold of Maybe because something was taken away from you, you had to learn to stand up for yourself. This is taking you into sun energy, prosperity, success, even material success, burning, fire, Leo energy as well. Cancer, you could be a Leo cusp. It's so beautiful. I feel you're so radiant. You could be wearing yellow so confident beautiful a childlike spirit leading from purity from your heart knowing who you are as if you're, you've just burst up out of the ground feeling the light of the sun on you like yes yawning you're awake some of you are waking up Whatever happened in your past, it's causing you to wake up, to rise up, to stretch, to yawn, to release, to start a new day. It's as if you have released connections from your past. And it didn't happen by, by choice, it possibly was by force. But when you rose up the following day, you realize how much freer you feel. And you're ready for the new day. Stretching, yawning, oh. as if you have no worries. And then you think back, you realize it's because you lost this connection why you feel so free. And now you feel, you feel grateful. You feel thankful. You feel more connected to the divine. And I'm so happy to see, I'm so excited to see what you're moving into in your future energy. But let's look a little bit more in your past first to see what happened. Let's clarify. What happened? Something caused you to chase your dreams. What is the Five of Swords energy in your Swords vibes? Okay, Five of Swords. Seven. It feels like trouble confusion it feels like sweat anxiety the king of pentacles feels like the five of wands energy the person that you moved away from disconnected from it's as if you were this person was challenging you but it was unfair 
and to stand in your power you decided to yield to drop your sword and walk away it could be that this person um, appears very confident you see that right could be this person has earth sign Capricorn Virgo Taurus with all, also with a mixture of air Gemini Libra Aquarius you are fire and water so I, I do feel the energy of a challenge mm -hmm. and this person too they have a sadness within their heart space and it's, it's from a long long time ago it's what causes them to level up and to even be financially well off to value themselves or to feel this confident as the king of pentacles but there's a bit of a love energy that is missing some, somewhere in their heart space and I feel like this person never learned how to express themselves well when it comes to love like to speak love This energy also has a sadness about you in their heart that I feel if they try to express themselves they may cry so they stand in ego and they watch you leave and that makes them sad till someone moves on it's you I do feel like now there hope there this person wants to welcome you back in they want this they're saying they would like they, they want you back look that's the energy they so they let you leave I know they're saying I'm open I'm open you can come back in so it's for some people um or, or for some of you it's saying it's actually telling you to go chase your dreams this person but they're sad about it what is the five broken up Separation. Moving, following your heart, deciding to move forward, deciding to start over, build something new, to focus on love for you. Wow, look at that. To focus on healing and well-being. And it's causing you to, to love on you, to value yourself more. To value yourself more, I feel more every day. Because we have the King of Cups, the Six of Cups. So you're learning how to love you. Well, I feel you've already come into this place of mastery of self love, healing, well being, and transformation. This is where you are heading. You're setting up your your values and your identity internally in an internal space and it's causing you to glow out beautifully, emotionally strong and confident. And in turn, this is making you lighter, a light body, spiritually ascending, connecting with your wealth energy with the seven of pentacles, just feeling like wealth and attracting it to you. I feel like you're already attracting wealth to you. You're, you're embodying being or a wealthy vibration. Let's look more at your past once more. We have the pentacles energy. So you were financially imbalanced. And I feel it has a lot to do with your emotions. And I, it has to do with crying and hurt, sadness, betrayal, how you feel about yourself, anxiety 
these are the things that affects your bank balance your emotional bank balance there's something that you need to work out and that's why i feel you'll be charging up and stepping into the king of cups energy once you begin to do the internal work and start healing internally cancerian because you see we have two kings here the king of pentacles and the king of hearts the king of hearts feels very grateful to me for what it all that it has all that it has become for even wealth it feels like the less egoic identity of the king of pentacles the king of pentacles is super wealthy you know abundant confident the king of hearts is um more modest i feel more grateful it's that time when the king of pentacles decides to take a moment and give thanks and it's it's like being in the state of gratitude like this king of cups this king of cups wants to take a break and go outside and walk in his garden even though it's masculine to just give thanks to touch the leaves to appreciate life to say thank you for all that i've accomplished this king has accomplished a lot of things a lot of healing well-being a lot of material things as well has manifested this king has risen above a lot risen out of so many things including financial instability and now that this king is financially stable they're also emotionally balanced so that's what i'm saying we do have the two of pentacles repeated here again it's all about your your emotional balance as well as that's what's going to affect your your financial balance what you welcome into you three of cups listen this energy feels like wanting to do something but not having the money to do it wanting to go out and celebrate but then checking your pocket and realizing oh i don't have the money my pocket is empty or checking in your purse and you're saying dang it i don't have the money to buy these things and but the, the things that you want will make you happy but the thing is you feel incapable or of having them because you're check you're looking at what you're looking at what you don't have and that's keeping you from from celebrating with what you do have the hangman energy so see uh, you need a deeper perspective a change of perspective perhaps because you're looking at what you don't have which is you're looking in your pocket or in your purse or in your bank account and you're saying i don't have this money i'm so i i'm poor or whatever the energy is and then that is pulling your emotional energy down as well so when you could be high vibing celebrating giving thanks you're you're focusing on one side of the scale and that is what you don't have it feels like whenever an energy comes around for you to give thanks you turn and look in your pocket and say or your purse and then you say i don't have what it is to give thanks for and you need to meditate and you need to to know to 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 pay attention to, attention to all that you do have to give thanks for listen for some of you i do feel like your money will be catching up i feel the energy of you going whoa when this side begins to pick up some weight and create that balance once more it's like look at his face like whoa because all, i feel like all of a sudden something is coming into you like water pouring into your scales it's causing you to be uh to and I do feel money coming into your bank account that's going to make you happy and celebrate. You're going to be giving thanks. The energy of whoa, but it's a happy whoa, like you're welcoming. So like something's like I definitely feel the energy of water, that energy of water streaming in and causing a balance. 
but that water energy is money coming into you it's going to make you happy i feel you already feel this energy it's a shift in your vibration whoa hey look something is coming into you it's creating financial balance it's going to make you celebrate breakups energy there's a relationship between you cancer and the piscean energy here in your future and this could also be you tuning into your deeper intuition and you did this because you wanted stability you couldn't be focusing externally anymore you had to look inside you had to look at what you do have to work with i hope all these messages are making sense to you i do feel like the messages um they matter but it's how you are receiving them right it's about how you feel about yourself affects your your finances because you're if you're focusing more on what it is you don't have that's what you're going to see every time there's a moment for you to celebrate you're looking in your purse or your pockets they're saying i don't have when instead of focusing on what you i feel when you begin to focus on what you do have more things begin to flood into you you become happier and then all of a sudden this dream bursts through into your bank balance so this talking about river streams and banks here listen and water energy you're going to be celebrating this is also hey i give thanks three little birds pitched by my window i swear and three cups celebrating here you're going to be celebrating um i love the energy thank you so much universe for that because all of a sudden what a the more you are focusing on what you do have all of a sudden it creates this wave it creates this avenue for more to come in and all of a sudden a rush comes in and you're like whoa look look at this water rushing that's the energy it's flooding into you but it's not only emotional satisfaction it's money and that money is making you happy but you have to take a break from focusing on what is external now to what is internal to, to your emotional bank balance to give thanks even when you're not seeing what you have to give thanks for okay i feel like these are the things that you are learning you're learning to move away from a certain mindset of lack of depravity Chasing your dreams, going internal, diving deep, fire sign. We have fire sign, we have water sign, we have earth. And then when you go inside, this is where, look, the sun energy and the hangman energy has a similar vibration. Because I feel it's when you go inside, it's, you go through some dark, dark space. And you keep moving through until you see the light at the end of the tunnel for you. I can't wait to get into your future energy, honestly. Um, <clears throat> so, dive deep. Because I feel that when you meditate, you're going to find the answer. And it's setting you free from this, this mindset, captivity. And you're, I feel that you're realizing... It's going to be so powerful when you realize this. I don't have the words for it now. But it's powerful when you realize something has always been with you or you've always been. But it's mostly your mindset that was holding you back or telling you that something is away when it actually isn't. It's going to be a powerful awakening. Remember I was talking about waking up. A realization, a new understanding a new power something is working in your favor that you don't yet know about but you do i feel like you are behind it you are a piscean energy you are and someone wants to unite with you collaborate with you possibly a fellow water sign or a fire sign or both you know I feel like you're moving into your abundance, your confidence, and your grace. 
you're moving into calmer waters cancer you're moving into a space where you can focus on you work on you heal you work on your money heal your money and becoming the best version of you heal your money heal your bank balance by healing your emotional balance that's so beautiful in your future energy let's get to this we have the nine of swords okay i feel disappointments and that's how i feel now because i was expecting it to be beautiful but at the end i did feel i may be disappointed because i was expecting too much or it's not turning out who i thought it would so i'm like oh my god and so i first this may happen for real where you expect something to be one way and then it's not and you're thinking it's not working out in your favor when if you feel look a little bit more dig a little bit deeper you will realize that all won't work out according or exactly to your plan because there is a higher power working you did not know this before when you moved away from connections that weren't serving you you had to learn to trust okay trust and i feel investment i feel money in the future you feel something having to do with your finances like you invest someone has your money you give all of your money away to someone you feel like you lost it and now they have it like you made a bad investment it's causing you to feel terrible can't sleep at night can't think straight you're trying to focus you're trying to recuperate but then this person over here nabbed your money or you gave it to them as an investment but then I feel no you don't have it <laughs> no you don't have your money and now this energy is feeling like it's validating an energy that I was feeling as if I'm getting what I think I deserve as if I'm confirming a thought or a feeling that I already had even though I don't want it confirmed it's easier for me to feel this why because I already have doubts about the situation I already fear it's not working in my favor and so I feel that's what could cause this to happen so underlying there needs to look nine of nine suspicious about land perhaps an investment in 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 land in a farm in a dream in a business i don't see your energy here fire sign sword sign earth sign yeah i can't believe it either what is the nine of swords I'm just this guys what are you telling us here telling us to invest in ourselves to meditate to think I feel this is saying thought what are you thinking about work out your thoughts it feels like having a space of peace of clarity within yourself to know what you're doing before making decisions and when you do you have an intention for what you want for yourself you need to have an intention i also feel like this is waking up i feel like you're waking up oh listen okay 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 you're following in your heart space i like this now <sighs> okay okay cool. i like it so much <laughs> oh my god i literally just did the same thing this person is doing right now I feel like crying. It's like waking up and sitting up in bed, realizing you were dreaming and you're rubbing your eyes. You're waking up. That's how I feel. It's like waking up to, it's like getting out of a bed of thorns. Getting up. You've been laying in a bed of thorns all along or surrounded by 
Ooh, child, this feels like you were literally laying down all along, feeling burdened as if you were dead. That's how I feel, weighed down, burdened, sad, depressed. But this, when this, when you wake up, I feel like when you get up, you, it's like you're waking up from a dream. You're realizing it was a dream. You're realizing it's not true. That's how I feel with this Nine of Swords energy. It's not true. You're finding your power, your strength. That's how I feel. But not finding it, but realizing that that's not you. These swords, they're not you. You're deciding to detach, to let go, to release. It just feels like waking up. It's not sadness. It's, it's the energy of sitting up in bed and rubbing your eyes. Ready to yawn, to stretch. I feel breaking through. Ready to, ready to get up and move forward. As if you've been risen from the dead. I, hey, I'm telling you, I swear. It's true. As if you're realizing you were in a coma all along, you weren't taking charge of on your life, you were waiting, things were in pause, things you invested in, and I feel you're about to stand, look, ah, oh, the energy was, and this is another person, this is another energy, but you see they are similar, two nines, but this is another energy, and it feels like this energy is in another person another another time it's in another time another f but it's in the same phase as you are but at the same time as you and so it's causing you this energy is like they're watching out for you or they're sending you some message or something this i feel like this is the energy that's causing you to wake up for some reason as if they're waiting on you look someone is waiting on something in your future it's Something yawning, you're yawning and waking up. Remember I was saying yawning and waking up with the sun energy. While you were in this phase of uh, no movement, you were meditating, contemplating and intending on what it is that you want. You were learning how to sit within your heart space because when you have distractions around you, you can't, you don't, it's not easy for you to listen to your heart unless you're an expert, unless you are a master, which you're becoming. You are, oh, I feel so free. I tell you, I feel like I just woke up from a good sleep. My body feels energized. You know when you wake up feeling good? Yeah. It's like you wake up looking forward instead of what all the bad things that happened in uh, yesterday the two of cups Well, I hear someone could be looking to come into you with trouble. I don't know why. Page of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Star, Trouble. It's like promises that may lead to disappointments. But at the same time, these disappointments, it's, it's what causes you to wake up, to say no more. What are you focusing on? Some of you are focusing on, well, we were supposed to be doing your person's energy, weren't we? This is your person's energy, possibly looking to come back toward you with promises, but they're they are not As if they're promising you stability and they're reassuring you it's going to be okay. They're coming as the jack. They want to grow with you as well. 
Oh God, this may leave you feeling disappointed in your future. Cancer, I have to tell you. Right? I feel like there's going to come a space in your future where you experience some loneliness, not just darkness, not, de not depression, but I feel literal being in the dark, sitting in the dark, quiet, cold. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. Just so you know. All right, let's shuffle. What is the Four of Pentacles? The thing is, the Four of Pentacles, your dream come true. If you bought a ticket, a lot of tickets, or invested in something, it's going to make you happy. It's creating a new stream of happiness for you. But I do you're still ex going to... Go well, in life, we have ups and downs. The messages won't always be beautiful. And this is actually a very, very beautiful reading. We have so many beautiful cards out here. I feel like when you go through what you're... The future energy cancer, you're still, you're still, your guides are still standing with you. They know you're going to make it through. You have to go through the dark period for some reason. I might, I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask. I think you already know this. I feel some of you are currently going through this. No. Your your dreams coming true. Maybe you're not seeing that now, and it's causing you to fret to worry so what are you doing hmm. I just feel like telling you not to make the same old mistakes the same decisions because you worked hard to, to get here and your angels are here with you so I feel ask for guidance in the direction in which you want to go I do feel that I woke up this morning um, with the vision of someone make climbing a, hit, a mountain in a storm, <laughs> lightning and thunder, pouring rain, and you're climbing that mountain, and you reach a point where you can't go any further. You just can't. I feel you're even, this person is even naked, stripped, bare bleeding to get to the top of this mountain but then they have to stop because it's pouring rain and they sit in a cave and they're sitting in this cave darkness that's how i feel no this is what i'm saying and crying distraught there's no way out of this cave they feel i want to get to the top with the ten of cups i want to get to my dream my wishes. But and your angels are always there with you. It's like they're your spirits and your guides. You're never ever alone. Remember. Remember I told you that. There's always a way. Hmm. Let me tell you. Because um Something is going to happen. While you're in this cave, rain pouring, thunder, lightning, it feels so terrible, Cancer. You're going to have no option but to look at what you have to be thankful for. I feel you're even so hungry because you have no food, no fire. And it's cold. I feel that you're going to there is no other option but to focus on where you want to get to. Focus on your goal. Keep your faith, your vision, your dreams alive. This is where it gets really intense. I feel this is where your breakthrough comes. This is where it comes. If you're focusing on the new, it's going to get tough. But focus on where you want to be and that's where you will alight with the sun energy. If you're focusing on not having enough, you may attract something from your past again. 
You don't want to do that. You don't want to repeat cycles. You want to ascend. And this could be a test that's coming up for you. And that's why I feel like your guides, they are with you. They are with you through this. In this time, you're going to meditate because in this vision that I was having this morning, or this when I rose up this morning, um, today, I feel like you're going to only option you'll have is to meditate, and you're going to maybe find something to eat a worm or something. It's that survival energy that's kicking in that you're going to have to start looking at your environment, looking at what you have to work with, scratching at the wall in this vision. This person scratched at the walls of the cave and found gold, I promise you, right? And then um, it's as if they meditated, they found that all is within them and the storm that was reeking around them, it came from inside. And through this process of meditation and they, they realized this, because remember we saw the hangman energy here, this process of meditation, introspection, when you this person dive deep inside and began clearing up energies inside they opened their eyes again and this it was bright the sun was shining it was the following day maybe they fell asleep and woke up but when they when their eyes opened this meditation after eating that lonely worm and giving thanks that it did come through and giving thanks that at least they found shelter from the rain and somewhere to sit and lean back you know and not feel alone that's the energy you're going to be tapping into. It's good that you know this now. And then um, when you meditate and clear up the energy inside, what is really causing this storm? Because nothing is truly ever external. It's always within you. And you're going to find that answer. You're going to find that clarity. And when you wake up, or when you wake up, that's the energy I'm feeling. When you finally wake up truly, it's sun energy, you know? It's realizing, oh, the sun is shining, birds are chirping. It's just a brand new day. You feel so much more energized and you immediately, it's, a, it's, a, it's as if you woke up with a plan. So you go down the hill, back up with some strategy and all of a sudden you're at the top because the answer came through meditation. So if you're going through this hard time right now, that's super important. That vision that I had earlier was for you, for all of us. What is the Four of Pentacles energy? What is the Four of Pentacles? Your hopes, your dreams, all that you're holding on to, your values, your destiny, what you have that's valuable. That's what you're holding on to. That's what keeps your faith strong and powerful. That, that's what makes you want to get through is there thing you know there are things you have to do what is the nine or who what is the nine of wands nine of wands energy yep mm. correct correction could be the energy of a teacher correcting your path correcting your heart healing i feel correction once again we have the seven Correction. Correction. Something is going. It's, it's a huge transformation, Cancerian. A huge deal. It's like you're going through. What is that word? I lost the word. It's a, but it's a test. And it's 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 either you're going to repeat past decisions, or you're going to force new things to happen for you by by will, determination, clarity, focus. And where you need to be and then you raise up raise up bursting out like the sun energy hmm. there's something about being authentic as well being true because there is it's, it's like realizing your truth being authentic realizing where you are and that's where we're like even if it's saying I'm at my wits and I have nowhere to go. You have to be truthful to completely be to be completely vulnerable to surrender to the times to have this amazing breakthrough. Let's ask the cards. 
because we want to know what's coming up for you i feel this is an offering some offering a connection a business connection offering of love new inspiration and healing and well-being any other messages for cancer's future energy cancer's future hmm. you're going to align you're aligning with your intuition you're moving up and you're going to be so happy I feel like you're coming, yes, you're coming into alignment with those that were guiding you all along. As if when you get to the top of this mountain, that's when you get to actually see your spirit guides in physical form. If that makes sense to you. Hmm. Alignment, celebration, thanksgiving, success, prosperity, joy, celebration. And it all has to do with sitting in the divinity of your heart space with love, with stability, with grace, with confidence, so with reassuring yourself about who you are and what you came here to do. Leaving your messages here, Cancer, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for coming through. I do hope you found messages here that inspire you and is able to help you along your journey do like share subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one remember that all is within you